Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use your cell phone's internet signal on your laptop computer. My computer will be an HP computer. The app you'll need to download is Easy Tether Pro from Polycliff Software. Pro version will be at ten dollars. There's a free version also, but the uh, Easy Tether Pro version from Polycliff Software, which is ten dollars, or was never I downloaded it. This will also allow you to be able to transfer your cell phone's internet signal to your laptop and then transfer the internet signal even through your laptop to a gaming system or movie player that's inter internet able or even a TV that is internet abled. And as of this time I already have a video made on how to transfer your internet signal from your cell phone to a gaming system. The one I have used so far is a PS3. First you'll need to download Easy Tether Pro from Polycliff Software, which which will be ten a uh, one time ten dollar fee. I'll we'll install it. I had already installed uninstalled it, so I'll install it again. Do this from scratch. Install what the Easy Tether Pro app looks like. That message will pop up, then you'll go to USB, which you also need to uh, enable a debug mode, which if you haven't enabled it, there will be a message that pops up telling you something about enabling debug mode. You'll click yes, and it'll take you to your settings and developer menu. My phone's a Sony Zafire Z3V. So the developer menu is kind of hidden on this phone and I show how to uh, access the developer options on a Sony Zephyr Z3V phone. You'll enable USB and then you'll go to USB settings, then USB setup wizard, and then of course it has the Windows computer, Mac computer, Android tablet, and have Unix like system Linux BSD. We'll use Windows Setup. You go to download to phone and copy. Then open drivers page. And this will allow you to uh, load the version for your computer. For example, when, uh, it's as of. Uh, I, think it's, I think it's May 5th, I think, of this recording. As of this present date, uh, it supports the Windows 10, Windows 8.1, Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows Vista, and Windows XP. So that will be the one we use. We'll download it onto the phone, and then it will be uh, transferred. I'm also using the Turbo Downloader, too, because it kind of helps uh, download stuff a lot quicker on the phone. Okay, I gotta see what it's gonna be under. Oh, that don't help. Okay, anyways, I'll screw with that here in a minute. Over to my computer. And I'm using Windows 10 software on the computer, so this might be a little bit different. If uh, you have any, uh, if your Windows software is Windows 8, 7, Vista, or XP, you'll end up going into this PC. For Windows 10 users, if you don't have this PC, you'll right click, go down to Personalize, uh, Themes, Desktop Icon Settings, and then this will be where you enable this uh, computer to be displayed on your desktop screen. I'm going to this PC, and then uh, Zap, or my phone's a Zephyr Z3V, you end up going into it, and it'll either be saved under some file in your internal storage or SD card. So I was using a, I think it was, I think it's called My Download. Yeah, Turbo Downloader. It'll be whatever I have the dictionary being for it to save my downloads under. And I use a Turbo Downloader to help improve the speed of uh, files downloading on my phone. But anyways, whichever it's uh, saved under, that easy tether, whenever you download it 
to your phone to transfer over to your computer but after you download that for your computer you'll then go to your easy tether which it'll look like that that I come for the computer you will go into it install it you'll click yes it'll be setting it up and I'm using a bandy cam on the computer to record this of course I'm using the free version which means it's limited to a 10 minute video download of each video the uh, paid version which I think is like 10 or 20 dollars I'm not sure I haven't I don't have the paid version so I can't exactly tell you as of right now what the difference is between the paid and the free version other than the paid version allows you to make videos on your computer that are more than 10 minutes long Okay, the installation is complete. I'll then go down here to where the Easy Tether is. I'll right click on it, go to Connect on Device Attachment, and then I'll right click on it again. And then I'll, if this here is still there, I'll click on it. I'll first end up having to uh, turn on Easy Tether on my phone, which it's enabled. And when it's enabled, it'll have an ET up here at the top left hand corner. You'll have an icon that has ET in it. Like I said, your first time turning it on on your phone, it'll probably have a message pop up that'll end up asking you if uh, you want to allow this computer access or whatever it is access to uh, your computer. So now we'll go into it. What's my phone right? Uh, it has service, but I don't know if it'll stay. So we'll go into my web browser, which is Firefox, Mozilla Firefox. Hopefully, I get a good enough internet connection. And that Easy Tether has a Bluetooth option too, but I haven't experimented with it, so. I don't exactly know what all it's uh, connected with, so to say. And like I said, right now I'm not getting very good signal on my phone, so it's kind of slow. I'm not getting my 4G. Can you see it here? Here it is. If you're getting 4G signal, it'll actually go up quite a lot faster than that. But like I said, I'm not getting very good signal right now, so it's kind of slow. 